We're ready now, I'd like to run through some of the ways in which we actually have used this. The programming itself represents a very good example for me, where following from the basic philosophy that concepts come in structure, and you'd like to structure your database, your information base that way, and have a tool at getting around it, I think that the way we've got our records for our programming organized, and then the special languages, using the hierarchy, using the names of places in there as labels of statements, so both NLS treats them as a name it can jump to, the compiler that compiles those files we were looking at treats those as the labels for those subroutines and procedures. It all makes a very nice way to study and integrate, and it's very powerful. Let me go down here and open up under usage and say first some application examples. The next thing, you want to study or modify papers. All right, it happens to be that we wrote a paper for these proceedings. It's in the files. There it is, top level. Gee, it's interesting to study something like that. What does it have to say about user systems? Go to there, open up a level. I only want to see that branch. Oh, what about file studying? Open that up. Oh, specifications of form of view, what about that? Let's just open it all. Now I can read it. Gee, that's an interesting way to study. 